NCAA tournament games just wrapped up, but some athletes are also making moves off the court tonight. A new rule went into effect last year that allows athletes to profit off their name, image, and likeness. CBS 4's Courtney Crown, uh, Courtney Spinelli, takes a look at how March Madness has already been profitable for one now familiar Hoosier athlete. The NCAA's interim rule allowing athletes to profit off their name, image, and likeness, or NIL, is paying off for some during March Madness. It's not so much that the individual deals are big as the collective uh, phenomenon is. This year's NCAA tournament has proven to be a big chance for some new stars to shine. One of them from right here in the Hoosier State, emerging during a moment that became one of the most memorable of the first round. The big winner for NIL in March Madness seems to be that Indiana cheerleader who unstuck the ball. We're talking about Indiana University cheerleader Cassidy Cerny, who scored an NIL deal with clothing company Breaking Tea. This moment went viral when Cerny rescued a basketball lodged on top of the backboard, and she's not the only one earning a claim to fame during the tournament. Right now with people like St. Peter's, Right, so they've got a kind of a small window to capitalize on their, their newfound fame, uh, which is pretty cool. Alex Janicek, one of the owners of the shop, says they've worked on deals with athletes at Purdue, IU, and Butler since last summer. It's great real life experience, and, and I'm glad they're allowing the athletes to do it because that's the point of college is to educate yourself and get ready for the next level. Really, more than anything, I mean, it's an educator. Some schools like Purdue University are even educating student athletes and staff on how to develop and manage these opportunities moving forward. Something Professor Larry DeGaris says he's glad to see happening as the policy is still in its infancy. NIL is still so new, we're finding our way. I think we'll see a lot of changes from universities as, as they learn from the process and it, 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 they grow. Now, I have to give credit to Cerny's base or stunting partner, Nathan Paris, who actually held her up there to get that basketball down. Some pretty impressive stuff right there. As for the NIL, both DeGaris and Janicek say this is likely just the start of something that will stick around for a long time. In the newsroom, Courtney Spinelli, CBS 4 News. We reached out to some Division I schools in central Indiana. Butler says it has some student athletes who've signed various deals, but those are done separately from the athletics department.